<laughs> we are now live, going to do an um, unboxing of the MacBook Air M1 base model. And it'll be a quick setup, put this bag over here, and a initial impression. At the front, nothing special, it just shows the MacBook Air, logo, Apple logo, MacBook Air. It doesn't say M1 or anything, they're not distinguishing it any special way and then even at the back really from the little quick look I had uh, before there's nothing that indicates that it's M1 you can decipher that it's M1 by the fact that it says USB 4 ports uh, and that's only if you know that the new ones have USB 4 <laughs> <laughs> but the Intel ones might gain update as well so then that's not a distinguishing factor the other thing is a core CPU, seven core GPU. That's obviously the configuration for these laptops. And you're not going to get an air, air with a a core Intel CPU, at least not currently. Okay, so let's just get into it. That's pretty nice. And just be able to <laughs> pull this tab off instead of even though this sort of cellophane plastic wrapping is always pretty easy just getting out under there. Still. Okay, so we're just having a little hiccup with the cameraman. <laughs> he he just gave me the look of don't say anything. <laughs> uh, we will be he will be back momentarily. And so yeah, I'll just talk about the MacBook Air while he you know, while he recovers. So Two USB 4.0 ports, or Thunderbolt 3 ports. It's not Thunderbolt 4, it's Thunderbolt 3. And only two. A lot of people are disappointed by that. For me, for my use, I'm not. But again, my use is minimal on the MacBook in terms of intensity. It's more on my Mac Pro that I use more intensely. So obviously the big thing is the M1 chip which I'm looking forward to. And I'm going to try and develop a tools on there. We know Xcode runs, and we know that runs well. That's Apple's own tool, so it's optimized. But I want to see how well something like Homebrew runs. Obviously, I guess a lot of the you probably won't even know what Homebrew is. But the ones that do, are they interested in that as well. The cameraman is back. He has recovered. 100% recovery. So let's continue. Cameraman is my dad, who, let's just say, he's probably the biggest fan of Apple on the planet. He loves their packaging. He takes the piss out of every other company's packaging any chance he gets. Oh, I'll put this aside for now. So, what we got? Just a USB Type C cable. The manual. Probably, you know, the stickers that everyone always bangs on about in here. Yeah, two stickers. Not that I really care about them. I always. Keep all this in pristine condition. This is where I end up bending it now. Oh, that almost happened actually. Okay, so. And then just the power adapter. And that's it. Well, my dad always talks about, aka the cameraman, always talks about the great packaging but I think they could reduce that a little bit the thickness of it a little bit um, okay so the MacBook Air just looks like any other MacBook Air so if you have an old one and you try to have a look at this one you will not know the difference this is the space grey there were other colours available as well Plastic 
You know what it smells like? It smells like when I used to play the original Oculus Rift, they used to have a smell of the rubber in there. That's all I remember from playing the Rift. Here we are. Okay, so. To use English as the main language, press the return key. I think that's what you know I find interesting about devices now is they they seem to be doing a lot of they have accessibility in them but just to say I mean enable from the start the PS5 had it this has it I'm wondering what Mac happened. OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. Yeah. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver. No, the voiceover quick start. Voiceover speaks descriptions of items on. No, Not now. Okay, so this is asking me for my Wi Fi. Password is password. Anyone that is near my house. And yeah, and I have fantastic. And gigabyte speed, not gigabit, gigabyte speed. Mm. And that is on the table. The wood on the table, not the Okay, that's all done. Finally. There we go. So data and privacy, blah blah blah. Continue. Yeah, no migration. So I'll set up later. So we're gonna skip. Agree. The two USB four ports here, and the three point five millimeter jack there. So here we go. He's saying express setup. The people settings below will be set for up for you, or you can customize the settings yourself. I'll have a go and a quick customize. Enable location. Let him track me. Yes, I do not want to share my analytics. Apple will get them anyway, but yeah, don't enable Siri. Touch ID. Yep, that's that done. Remember when fingerprint was first implemented in stuff and to det include on the Mac you first to first detect it your finger you take ages in you know, in terms of you know implementing it 
kind of flipped off. Mm. Yeah, that's what I want to Nah, I want to see if that's true. I'm being like, them to in different environments. Mm. You want to show me? Okay, here we go. Okay, so the stream seemed to get interrupted there for a second. I'm not too sure what it was. Okay, so we're inside. It's the unbox done. The setup done. So let's have a look at the initial impression. So first of all, there's a few things I want to change. Just in general. Uh, change the dock. I want it to be like bouncy bouncy. Oh, you know, zoom zoom. Magnification, yeah, that's what I want like that. Let's add a few more. Right, uh, that's, that's one thing I need to do is the trackpad, and I want that clickable tap to click. So I also want, yes, that's what I want as well. Um, okay, I'm pretty happy with that one then. So, the keys. Yeah, the keys are better than the other MacBooks when they put it in their butterfly. So, yeah, it literally says Apple M1 here. Now, that's no feature that I want to put in there. It is the drag, click to dr the three finger drag. I don't believe it's in the trackpad section. I believe you have to actually go silent clicking. <coughs> you have to go in the accessibility. Now, why they would put this in the accessibility and but not the other stuff? Yeah, enable drag in. So you have a three finger drag. It's like, why put that in accessibility? Then the other stuff separately. Yeah. Always thought that was stupid. Yeah. It's got retina display as it, you know, had before. So, let's have a look at installing. First of all, let's install Let's have a look at installing Homebrew We can go to brew.sh Brew.sh So, usually you would copy that Open up Terminal There was some other terminal thing. We've got terminal genesis. So that's a new view or something. Terminator genesis, not terminal genesis. We can do that by 27%. Enter. So let's give it one more password. Okay, so this is what it says. And I just tried to install. Homebrew. homebrew is not yet supported on ARM processors. Rerun the Homebrew installer under Rosetta 2. So if you really want to know what you are doing and are prepared for a very broken experience, you can use another installation option for installing Homebrew. So I'm going to copy this. Let's do a search with Google. Okay, so they mention about ARM here. However, do yourself a favor, install to on Mac OS Intel, on Mac OS ARM. Do you need Xcode? I will download that afterwards. 
what I need to do. How do I open up terminal in the Rosetta 2 compatibility mode? I'm trying to think. Is it a simple... I'm pretty sure you have to set like a flag when you open it. Oh, there we go. Open using Rosetta. But do you, would I always want it as Rosetta or not? No. So the other thing, I'm going to see if I can do. I'm going to see. So you're saying uh, do some benchmarks. Do some benchmarks? Okay. What type of benchmarks? Can you expand on that? Well, this is, I might, um, I may not do that in this video. I could do it in a separate video. Well, like that sound. Different sound in Big Sur. Okay, so I've just duplicated terminal. First of January, apparently, I've created. So this is the duplicate. I want to call this one Rosette. How many fingerprint sensor is useful for stuff like that? Obviously, I know the other ones had it as well. Just the Mac that I had, Konyav, which is this Mac here. Let me grab all of it. <coughs> the Mac that I currently have is this MacBook Pro 15 inch, which is the Mac Mini. Okay, so we have the 15 inch silver one here. This is from late 20. See the size difference. It's not crazy size difference because the air is 13 inch. No? I've got that here. And okay, so it's open using Rosetta now. Butterfly and um, Chicklet. Chicklet, yeah, because they re reverted back to the Butterfly. previous version. Didn't I mean, Chicklet. Yeah. Chicklet, yeah. Yeah, I prefer these Chicklet keys. It is like what I've got on here. I didn't like the Butterfly. The cameraman, which is my dad, he loves the Butterfly keys. Until they went wrong. Huh? Until they started giving problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, obviously ignoring just the... Not opening up at all now. Is this duplication of it? Does it mess things up? What did I just break? Oh, okay, here we go. To open terminal, you need to install Rosetta. Yeah, it's not installed by default. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So, okay, you didn't give that error this time about not being supported on ARM. <coughs> Following the directories will be created, blah, 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 blah. And this script will install all of this stuff. And then let's click enter. So, this is using the Rosetta 2 translation layer. Yeah, because we know Apple apps obviously will work because they have been updated for ARM. Um, we know the big apps will also get updated eventually. We also know that the big apps, even if they don't get updated yet, the way they will have been made, it'll, they'll probably translate pretty well. See, homebrew is big, but it's like more niche, more technical so less likely 
Okay, so it's downloading command line tools for Xcode. That's actually something that's going to take a while. Not the quickest of things that isn't. Because obviously if I had Xcode, it would already be installed. So that's going to take a little bit of time. What I will do is open up Safari. I'll download Sublime Text. I don't know what the situation with Sublime Text is. So obviously, it'll probably work if we're doing Rosetta. But whether or not, <coughs> it actually has a M1. I mean, an ARM version, not M1. Have a quick M one Mac. No, it does not look like the version available yet. Okay, so it's downloaded the tools. Let's install them. Let's install Sublime. Yes, the Maxim is very fast. It's new at the moment, so it's just doing what I'm doing now. I wouldn't expect a thousand pound machine to be slow. One thing I'm gonna also check out is OBS. See how well that runs when I, you know really crack up the bit rate on it okay so I did just install sublime nothing to do with Rosetta and there we go it's opened I mean obviously just this little quick testing I'm not actually doing any major coding there's no no uh, bunch of files open nothing like that is there any way to indicate that it's running under Rosetta I'll ask my dad the cameraman does it indicate at all if an app's running under Rosetta any way to I think when it first starts up there's an indication but um... Um... Uh, under normal circumstances, I believe. But like, if I do that, <clears throat> I don't know about these particular apps. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because maybe in the monitor. Yeah, because this version's old. This is 2019. Mm. This version is so. There's no way that. No. So activity monitor, you saying? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Let's have a look. Let me open this up. Activity monitor. I like the new look. Okay, Sublime is there. Yeah, architecture Intel. There you go. So let's sort by that. Okay, so what we got? So we got. You know, so all the terminal is obviously what we open in Rosetta, and all these other things is what's being installed on here. Is also. Okay, so we we have. Speed of just under six megabytes. Not the best speed. Nah, I don't think it's megabytes. I think it's megabit. Nah, maybe megabytes. Yeah, so it's Intel. Oh, there's a bunch more because it's just you know doing stuff in the terminal. Okay, Sublime works. I'm trying to think off the top of my head what other developer tools that I... That's me all the time. Could I try? Off the top of my head, I can't really think. Because it'll be one of those situations where I'll be like, okay, I want to do this. I'll just download this tool. But from what I've read, Rosetta is meant to run really, really well. Which I was very pleasantly surprised to and hear. And it's only the first version. Yeah. Rosetta 2. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where's the iOS apps? Many hiccups that will push out an update. They haven't done so, it must work reasonably well. Well, from what we've seen online, it does. You know, the reviews on the YouTubers, so. Oh, I need to download Magnet. This is a great tool. Both for 99p. I remember. 
I was contemplating buying it on F99. It allows you just a snap window, a shortcut, really useful. Even at 299, it's a good price. Uh, this feels weird, it's been something like for 200 quid, or even like 34 quid. Yeah, where is the iOS app meant to be? Is that where the iOS app is meant to be? I think when you search for an app and it gives you the option that whether it's a iOS and I, iPad or iPhone or um, Mac OS version, I believe, in the App Store. But we're done with this, so we should be able to run a brutal command. So yeah, so we can install stuff. So if I do brutal like in uh, install, let me find some cool brew things to install. Cool. Some weather stuff and calculator stuff that you can do. Homebrew Mac. Yeah, no, let's try this HTOP. Should just be brew install HTOP most likely. Yeah, update to homebrew. So it's downloaded it, should have just. Okay, I'm gonna open up the old Luna terminal. I mean, the it's it's only popping up as the Roberto one there. So we should be able to run it now. Let's sudo htop. Might ask me for my password. Yeah, it will. Yeah, here we are. So, this is what HTOP is. It's just giving us a bunch of stuff. This is basically what we can see in the activity monitor button here. Okay, so let's open up. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, DI, Simplify Community Dream Video, uh, our usual Unix man pages. JQ, the lightweight and flexible command line JSON processor. NCDU, Disk Utility, Task Warrior, is a to do list, Tmux, well, all the ones we can find. Trying to use cash, what was it for again? Is that his top? WK is cool. Now you can download stuff from the internet. Brainstorm in Mac. Let's try that one. So, brew. Uh, brew in store in Mac. more seconds and it will be done. And map. Mm. I need to have a look at exactly yeah I can do stuff like that. So links do GOIP lookup dash completion watch image magic speed test yeah let's do a speed test one install that one so brew in store speed 
So the stream had an interruption again. We're going to just do a quick look at the Mac around it. So we've got the keyboard here, the trackpad, the retina display. We have no touch bar. We have the physical buttons with the fingerprint ID. Some people will like that. I think most. Okay, I'm just going to wrap up the stream for the MacBook Air M1 because the internet seems to be a bit temperamental morning about heat issues on the phone that I'm streaming via so yeah I'm gonna wrap up I'm gonna do another live stream later on which will be the game engine code live stream I might try and do it off this using OBS and Xcode need to see if I get Xcode installed in time I may not so I might do that tomorrow or I might do it on there but not actually on there if you know what I mean and okay thanks for watching and I'll see you soon have a good day